In this section, we'll take a look at pancreas and biliary tract pathology. For pancreatic pathology, we'll take a look at inflammation and clearly define what is acute and what is chronic. And at the very end, we'll take a look at pancreatic cancer. And in management and pharmacology, it's important that you pay attention to the molecular mechanism of pancreatic cancer, namely KRAS. When we get into biliary tract, we'll be placing those pathologies such as gallstones in play and uh, make sure that we give you proper clinical presentation so that you get your questions correct. Pancreatitis will divide in acute and chronic. As far as you're concerned, it'll be very black and white. Your patient with acute pancreatitis may be an adult, it's an adult who's been drinking alcohol excessively, a common cause of acute pancreatitis. Or maybe it was a child who suffers from a CFTR chromosome 7 genetic issue, such as cystic fibrosis. There would be interstitial pancreatitis and necrotizing pancreatitis that we shall take a look at in greater detail under acute. When we switch over to chronic, and I will tell you how you will be doing that symptomatically, our topic here will be further expanded upon by looking at the pancreatic pseudocyst. And eventually, there is so much damage that's taking place with the pancreas over the long run that there really isn't much pancreatic functioning left, referring to insufficiency. <laughs>